So in this video, I'm going to show you once more how to do the background change without using the Evoto background changer feature. It's ideal for shots that are full length like this one all the way to the floor and you want to keep the shadows intact to give it that more of a realistic look because if you use the uh, background changer on a full length image as I will show you now doesn't matter which one you use let's go to that one it, she just doesn't look realistic now someone did suggest to use the opacity but then that is going to take the color intensity away from what you were doing in the first place so I'm going to show you a way to give a background change without using this feature like I said if you're doing a you know a three-quarter image etc it works well but you need to be able to see the feet shadow area you could add it again in Photoshop I guess but this way it just makes it so much easier and um, yeah I'm sure you'll find it super helpful anyway don't forget like subscribe to my channel because I do Evoto videos every week or most weeks anyway and other software as well but uh, yeah I'm sure you'll find this um, very helpful okay so straight into the video here we go so what you do first of all is go to this section here color adjustments and then we want to adjust the you can adjust the picture first to how you want it so what we'll do first of all is we're going to bring the shadows all the way up and then we're going to bring the highlights down just a little bit as well to how we want in the image and if we were going to brighten it up you know we'd bring the exposure up as well just a little bit i would say to about there and then we can bring the blacks back down as well this is where the magic happens what you need to do is go to local select the background now it's just so simple to do look there we go change it to a blue whatever you want we're going to be able to do it now as you can see it's not hard to do now then if you wanted to adjust the intensity of these uh, images uh, sorry the the color what we could do is go to saturation in the hsl and then if we click on this one here it will show you the color range in a certain area and then we could brighten it up you know just whatever you want but basically that's how you do it it's super simple just temperature and the tint as well and then again if we want to go down to the saturation of said background click on this one again and then it will make it more intense it's as simple as that was that helpful we've got the shadows intact we've changed the background image uh, sorry the background color and um, there we go yeah it's as simple as that anyway don't forget guys like and follow my page i do updates all the time on this software and hopefully in the next week or two i will be dropping some presets for this software i've noticed someone else has done them but yeah well never mind anyway don't forget like subscribe and we'll see you in the next one